Hi, I'm Wake Speed Jr., Total Seal Piston Rings, and I'm back with another speed shop tip. Total Seal is famous for our gapless piston rings. In our last video, we talked about how setting ring gap is super important. One of the advantages of a gapless ring is it allows you to have a larger ring end gap without all the problems associated with having big ring gaps, like we talked about high blow-by, contamination of the oil, and things like that. A Total Seal gapless piston ring actually contains two parts. One is the gapless ring, and then the second is the gapless rail. It's the overlapping of the gapless ring and the gapless rail that eliminates the ring in gap. Well, not really. It closes the gap. There's still a gap there. So what you have to do is actually still set the proper ring end gap on both the gapless ring and the gapless rail in order to achieve the proper performance and durability for your application. Just like in the previous video on setting ring end gap, every Total Seal gapless piston ring set comes with instructions that list the correct ring end gap for both the gapless ring and the rail for your specific application to get the best in performance. One important thing to keep in mind when setting your ring end gap by using the chart is it lists the recommended ring end gap in thousandths of an inch, but it needs to be multiplied by your bore size. For example, if you have a four inch bore and the chart recommends five thou of ring end gap, you have to multiply that five thou by the four inches to get 20 thousandths ring end gap. So make sure you follow that tip. It lists it right here and that's the proper way to determine and set the proper ring end gap for your application. So that's your speed shop tip. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram to stay up to date with the latest in piston ring technology. Thanks for watching.